cat came to the back of me. Is that your impression of me? Yeah. I had to cook for my family for an entire week using only this cookbook. Welcome to the channel where Jeremy mostly follows the directions but changes it when it suits his family's needs. Stick around to see what we think of it. It's gotta be saucy. I really like it. Bad. It's not our favorite. It's so good. Mm. This is my kind of dinner. That slaps. I haven't even tried mine yet. I already know this is gonna be a recipe that we're gonna have more often. Daddy, cheers. I think this is junky vegan. There's no other flavors than spice. Basic, tasty. Yeah, this this might end in utter failure and tears. You need to try it. Are you try eating it. all the chocolate? No, no, I would never do that. Andy, call 911. Welcome back to the channel. Here we focus on plant-based goodness and that is in a variety of ways from cookbook reviews like this to my own recipes, me cooking with other people. I just want to eat food all the time. Luckily your body requires it. <laughs> and every now and then we do a little product review or we visit a business. And I know what you're asking right now, Jeremy, where did you get that sweet, sweet shirt? We have a little merch store now. A lot of you requested this and so it exists. You can get to it from the link down below in the description or it's on the banner inside of our website, pbwj.ca. We've got lots of fun stuff from baseball t-shirts like this, hoodies, t-shirts, cutting boards, aprons. And if there's anything that you would love to see with our logo on that is not there, let us know. We've even got cute little lunch bags. And if there's any little phrases that myself or Annie or anyone else says that you'd love to see on a shirt, we'll make that happen too. Let us know in the comments down below. So in this video, we're gonna cook exclusively from Tony Akamato's plant-based, on a budget, quick and easy. A lot of you recommended this book. I'm really excited for it. On first glance, I wondered if some of the recipes were a bit basic flavor-wise, but I'd love to be proven wrong. And what's extra special this time around is I let my son pick out the recipes. So this week, I'm letting, I let Ephraim pick the recipes because he was a bit of a cranky pants. Yeah. Over the last cookbook. So you think these are gonna be good? Yep. One of the things I really like about this book is actually they make suggestions in here about how to swap out the oil and how to add extra things like, like I'm looking at this one soup and it's, uh, I look at this and I'm like, for a meal it doesn't have any protein in it. So it tells you how to do that. I like that this book is almost designed for you to make it your own. Yay! Yay! So that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, all right, now we're, now back to our movie, bye. Before we get into the recipes, I'd love to take a moment to give a quick shout out to some of the people who have said hello to us down in the comments. Alyssa from Scottsdale, Arizona. Lynn from New Zealand. Robert from Lancaster, PA. Lainey from Guelph, Ontario, Canada. And Catherine from Trinidad. I'm kind of overwhelmed that we have this amazing international audience and community. If you'd like a shout out, all you have to do is let us know in the comments below who you are, where you're watching from, and you know, say something else that's on your mind as you watch this. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, join our community for more content like this by hitting that link down below and hitting that thumbs up if you're enjoying it as well so YouTube can recommend more content like this to you. Greetings, everyone. Uh, quick update from the editing couch. <laughs> This is, this is often where I edit the videos because it's comfy. So normally I include the recipes in the side here over top of the, the cooking sections of this video. I'm not doing that this time around. And the real reason is because I did not scan the recipe book like I normally do before I return it to the library. I, uh, I screwed up. I don't make these mistakes often, but I'm sorry for those who love that aspect of this. If you like the book, uh, I do have a link down below where you can pick it up through Amazon. Uh, and I'll tell you how I think about it all at the end. But anyway, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I know a lot of you really enjoy that. And I done screw it up, and it happens. I'm human. Hope that doesn't ruin your enjoyment of, uh, of this video regardless. What's something silly you've screwed up recently? Let us know in the comments down below so I can feel a little bit better about myself right now. Not on the food! Tonight for dinner, we're having veggie packed potato leek soup. Ooh. Ooh, are you excited, Annie? I like potato leek soup. Sweet. 
So again, what I love about this book is that they give you additional additions and swaps to consider. So uh, I'm gonna add some chickpeas to it since it's gonna be more of a meal, a main. And I'm gonna swap out uh, maybe like half of the potatoes it calls for with butternut squash because we got half of one going sad in the cupboard. I'm gonna add the extra seasonings they suggest as well to make it tangier and the lemon. And it says to put a little hit of hot sauce in. Should we do that? Yeah. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna make it spicier too. And I'm gonna add in most of the additions and swaps. I'm excited for this book because it's so flexible, which is what cookbook should be. Oh, that's so good. That lemon and hot sauce hit me in just such a subtle, weird, beautiful way that I unexpected. This is like really simple soup, but it's kind of like a different, it's different than any vegetable soup I've had before. That slaps. If my kids don't like this, they're bonkers. You know, I might not even tell them I made this, so I gotta eat it all. Grew them. Dinner! Summertime in the city. Summertime in the city. That's it. Bread's good. I made good sourdough, yes. But it has the soup. I didn't try it. Mommy has an opinion. Ooh, look at that nice long leek. And he likes the leek. You should try it's very tasty. pickling potatoes. I should try growing potatoes? Pickling potatoes. Ew. Should we do it, Willie? Pickled potatoes? No. I really like it. It's creamy. Mm. Although there's one like herb in it that's not my favorite. But I'm not sure what its name is. I think it would be better if you blended it all up so there wasn't chunks of food. Oh, well you can do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's put in the blender. It's like a different it's flavor good. broth than usual, eh? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm guilty of doing a lot of tomato-based stuff, which isn't her favorite. This is so much, so refreshing. Such yeah, a refreshing you know change. Let's we'll see what the kiddos think. This is not bland. I need to use some pepper and salt. No more pepper? Oh, I taste pepper. It builds deep. Yeah. We just salt. I don't. It's way better when it's like this. It's even creamier. Yeah? It's the potatoes. You like the flavor? You need to try it. Try that. Yeah? Oh, try it creamed? No, oh, you chose this soup? Choicey. Yeah, I mean, it's delicious either way. When you, when you blend it like that, all the flavors hit faster. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna make apple. Dinner. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's the best dinner ever. For it would be the best dinner ever. We're making apple nachos, but the kids have the great idea of making like an apple nacho bar so we can all put it yeah, in the it toppings was, on. It was my great idea. Should I do bananas? It was my great uh, idea. No, but I mean, if you want bananas, I'm not, I wouldn't put bananas yeah, on mine. It was my great idea. No, yeah. So we have the peanut sauce and the chocolate sauce from the book. We're gonna add some strawberries. No. We're gonna add a woolly. Stop. Stay. Stay Are you chocolate. eating all the chocolate? No. No, I would never do that. This crunchy. Uh, I'm gonna cut, cut out some cashews. What else you guys want to taste the crunchy bit. What else? I think that's it. I'll let you know if we yeah, add anything else. Can you stop it? So uh, one thing I forgot to mention is how to make the chocolate sauce. You literally just take non-dairy chocolate chips and you put them in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and you stir them around. And hopefully they don't turn out chunky. Yeah, you just gotta heat, we'll just add more heat, just heat them back up. Hopefully they don't turn out chunky. And then same, we took an all natural peanut butter and we just heated it up in the microwave for 20 seconds at a time until it was nice and creamy. She loves chocolate. Were you gonna lick that off and until I, I, no. You were gonna lick Why that would I do that? And, and why and and you guys were saying that I had a lot of tastes like an apple with stuff on it. What's that? Tastes like an apple with stuff on it. Breaking news from Ephraim. Well, that is what it is. But what does it taste? It is what it is. Do you like the it? idea? Yeah. I love the idea. We should put ice cream on them. I haven't even tried mine yet. I already know this is going to be a recipe that we're going to have more often. Dad, you want to look at mine now? But let's see, mommies. Mm -hmm. What are you? Oh, look at yours. Coconut. <laughs> Annie's got hers there. And that's what's left of baby bears. Okay, ready? I'm gonna take a bite. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. Okay. The apple is just one of the many flavors. And the apple, we the apples we just picked off a tree, like a week or two ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they've been in a fridge, like, in a good fridge. <laughs> I don't think it's there. Really. <laughs> 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 we just picked off. Ah, that's the stupid.
stupidest thing I've ever said. Wait, if you've ever like dipped an apple in peanut butter, it's like that, but like with sweet. Uh, you could do it as a dessert. You could do it as an after school snack and just take out. You could do it as Make breakfast. it as healthy or as sugary as you want. You do that as a breakfast. breakfast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad, do you want this for breakfast tomorrow? Dinner? I don't know. I gotta try this right now. I haven't tried it yet. This is really good. You can do this for a kid's birthday party. Yeah. If you wanted a really healthy option. You can do this for anything. Yeah. I like the crisp of this. The berries were inspired. Is that Annie's idea? Mm-hmm. You gonna spank me, girl, right now? You gonna spank me? Do it. We gotta go. For dinner tonight, I'm making a tater tot casserole. Oh my god, wow. Annie's very you were you squealed when you heard there was real tater tots. This was a not then I saw what it was. Tater tot casserole. Is it are the tater tots even gonna be crispy? Uh yeah, they're crispy because these things are like loaded with oil probably. Hey, Dad, I have a question. Yeah, what's your question? What so like are you gonna bake the tater tots like before you put them in the casserole? No. You put them on top and then you bake them. Can you bake them in the microwave? Can I bake them in the microwave? Is I don't think you understand how baking works. No, is it possible to? No, because that's not bike, bake, baking, it's microwaving. And they, don't, they won't get crispy in the microwave. They get crispy in the oven. It's fine. They just cook on top of the... the... Dad, it says that you need to wash them. You wash the tater tots? No, it's called the potato story. Oh, great. Essentially what this is, is tofu scramble with tater tots on top and some cheese as well. So... Because of Annie's demands, I'm gonna put real cheese on their side this and plant-based cheese on ours. This much? I really don't care. This much? It's your cheese, I don't care. This much? Sure. I'm not even looking. Look. Yes. Look. I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> really? I mean, that'll be fine. I'll let you know if you need more. I won't, because I don't care. <laughs> so question, because it's basically tofu scramble on the bottom, should we just make our recipe or do the recipe they have got I here? think you, if you're reviewing a cookbook, you have to use a recipe. <laughs> Listen Duh. to you. Are you making fun of people now? The people that make the fun of the me? No, she's making not making fun, fun of me. She's, she's making fun of you, Dad. She would never make fun of me. She's married to me. Are you making fun of me? Think in between the lines. Well, think, think in between the lines? Oh, Annie, it you're just... just it just seems like obvious that if you're reviewing the cookbook, you should do the proper recipe that's in the book. Fair enough. How is that a review if we don't do it? You keep saying that. When we were like, hey, do this, you're like, I can't change the recipe. Is that your impression of me? Yeah. Is that how it sound? I'll put the link to my tofu scramble down below. Basically, it's similar to this. I would just add some nooch to it. And you also said not to compare our recipes to the ones in the book. And you're doing it right now, and we haven't even tried it yet. Fair enough. I've already agreed. You got problems. You need popcorn. Eat your popcorn. I've Didn't... accidentally bought some. You Yeah, but it just slipped into the cart. Just like that. I came to my hand. I didn't have a cart. Because I just She walked the to the aisle and grabbed two. It was a, it was a two for You accidentally walked. Oh, I accidentally bought two. A series of unfortunate events have led to us having she a little popcorn water, snack. The second one just went I completely one in her hands. I mean, if you're going to get it, get a deal, right? Yeah. I added uh, some kale to this because greens are good. But this guy's all about adding stuff. I think the one difference between this tofu scramble and mine is that I would probably have some nooch in here as well as some kalamanak. Just a little bit. But I'm sure this would be good. You can hear it sizzling. That's all the oil we never cook with. This is definitely not a whole food plant based dinner. Very treaty. I'll be sad if the kids say this is their favorite meal ever. It is their time I'm hungry. Get away from me. Can we have this every night? Jesus. Cool. There should be more potato tots in there. More potato uh, tots? Mm. So I'm taking you guys like this one? Yeah, one more. We need more. Do a double layer. <laughs> yeah, double layer of tater tots. So you mostly just like the tater tots? No, there's just a lot of the tofu stuff in there. It's like, no, 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 it's like no. two tater tots per like giant scoop of tofu. Well, I, we can thin it out in that. So good. I just want... like tater tots in my shirt. They're disgusting. They're I'll so have good. Those. I'll have those. They're covered in oil and they're crispy. What do you think, mommy? I think this is junky vegan. I'll have your tater there, tots. The tater tots? Oh, me too. <laughs> what happened to whole food plant-based, man? I know, this one... <laughs> So, on that note, uh, I made this because I let Ephraim, I let Ephraim pick he the recipes. You picked, you picked this one. I flagged it because my opinion 
was I would have modified Mom, this and just put potatoes tots? on top. I put I would put roasted potatoes on top. But you said, "Can we make sure we do the tater tots?" I and I said yes because I wanted to give the kids an opportunity <laughs> to have some say have in the crap. videos. But I would modify this and just put roasted potatoes on top. No, you are a terrible person. Yeah, listen to him. What did you say? I'm a terrible person. Oh, heck, mom. It's delicious because it's oily and fatty. Oh, no, I, I think the tofu is delicious. I'm done. Yeah, the tofu scramble is a nice little recipe. Mm -hmm. I would still modify the way I would add a little bit of nooch to it, maybe some other spices, but it's it's good base. I would just make this healthier by adding our. Oh, I would just re to make this, even though the kids won't like it, is I would use our cheese sauce on top. And then, like, home fries. You're a disgrace to humanity. I'm a disgrace to humanity. Anyway, the kids absolutely adored this. Wooly. It's, I like the bottom. Emily's adding salsa to it, which I'm going to do as well. I think it needs a little bit of a sauce. I always add salsa to my scramble. Or some ketchup would be good, too. But salsa's good. For dinner tonight, we're going to make this chili cornbread casserole. So it's kind of like a shepherd's pie, but with chili inside. And instead of mashed potatoes on top, it's cornbread. This is naturally gluten-free, so it's right up the alley for my family, and we also like chili. So to make this, you also have to make another recipe in the book called Simple Black Bean Chili. What I love about this is he's got directions both for the stovetop and the Instant Pot. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it in the Instant Pot. Because it took for only three minutes. Of course, you gotta use the time that it takes to get set up. But you can just throw everything in the pot and let her go. So while that's happening, I'll make the breading that goes on top. And by the time uh, the, the chili is done, we should be able to throw it all together. So this is a pretty quick meal, I think. So for the corn flour crust, I thought it was gluten-free in the recipe. It's not, I'm gonna make it gluten-free by changing the all-purpose flour to a gluten-free all-purpose flour. I'm also gonna take that oil out yes. and I'm gonna replace it with, I think I'm gonna use vegan yogurt, although I might use applesauce. Haven't decided yet. It calls for a half a cup of sugar. That's insane to me. It's 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 dinner. I'm gonna put like a quarter cup on it, and even then, I feel like that might be weird. But I'm not gonna mess with it. So I'll I'll stop it down to a quarter cup. Yeah, this this might end in utter failure and tears because I'm switching around a lot to make it gluten free and, and oil free, but. That's uh, kind of how we roll here, if you know what I'm saying. You're familiar with how I muck with recipes. And if, and if you're not, welcome to the channel where Jeremy mostly follows the directions, but changes it when it suits his family's needs. Oh, this is like chili casserole. Yeah. Cornbread casserole. Cornbread chili casserole, something like that. Or the pumpkin roll with chocolate chip in it. So I like chocolate. That's a totally different video, has nothing to do with this one. But if you want to know about that pumpkin loaf, stick around for our holiday video. This is my dinner. Get out of there! It's for the holidays! Bad. That's your only review? I could use something though. What's that? I could use something, I don't know what. I have an idea. You put some cheese on it, aren't you? No! I like the topping. Topping has like a weird taste at first, but then it gets better. I've also made it gluten free, so the texture of it's probably not ideal. It's a pretty basic chili recipe. I might add a little more heat to it. You could just take whatever your favorite chili recipe is and just add like a cornbread crust to go on top of it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a different way. Instead of like having chili with a bun on the side, you put the bun on top. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. I I I categorize this one under. It's fine. It's not bad. It's not our favorite. It's a good start. If you don't have like a, a plant-based vegan chili recipe yet, start with this one and then you can add no, as you I'll go. Start with yours. Just start with taco soup. Well, you can try mine. Taco soup, taco soup. Oh yeah, there's the taco soup on top or taco soup on the bottom. So Eve, you add some cheese? Well, I didn't have the pasta and you can do it. Does it improve it? Yeah. For dessert tonight, I'm gonna make these chocolate chip banana bars. So um, the biggest swaps I'm gonna do here are I'm gonna make it gluten-free, obviously, so Wooly can have some. The only trick is making sure you make that flax egg before. We're also gonna swap out that oil with some applesauce. The brown sugar is probably gonna become coconut sugar. I think that's it. They add a suggestion of uh, throwing some walnuts in, and normally I would do that, except Annie doesn't like the walnuts. So we're not gonna, I'm looking forward to these. The other thing I'm gonna do is they just suggest mashing it with a potato masher, your banana. You can do that. 
I like to use the food processor and really, really break those bananas down. The nice thing is then you can just add everything inside of there. So this is my favorite part of screwing up and baking. I forgot to throw the flax egg in. It's already mixed up. So now the question is, do you bake it without it? Or do you throw it in after? I'm gonna throw it in after and mix it up. And this beautiful job I've done of putting all these chocolate chips on top is gonna be messed up. You're not the only one that makes silly mistakes in the kitchen. I'm, I'm the master of it. You're in good company. And then I threw in some more chocolate chips to hide my mistakes. Uh, I mean, it's chocolate chips and banana. I, if this doesn't go well with my family, I'm gonna be shocked. Also, more for me. Know what I'm saying? You get it? Picking up stuff. And I know I have to clean up. This is the part that sucks, right? Who wants to come over and clean up for me? Let me know in the comments down below. Willie stole chocolate no, chips I, off the top. No. Right the, here. No, the evidence is right here. You know what happened? I did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I removed the pan because it was yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah. Do you need me to... Re react and react steal more chocolate it. chips? Yeah, no. Watch. This is what happened. Went, Don't do it again. Look, see? Right here. It went right into the chocolate chips. And they stuck on there. As, and of course... It, it, I ate them. It's, it's too bad that this thing doesn't come with handles on the edges to grab it from. It was still hot. It was I just out of the oven. You have an oven mitts on. Comment down below who, if she's guilty or not of stealing. If you just want a chocolate chip, steal a chocolate chip. If I just wanted a chocolate chip, I'd take it from the cupboard. No, we're all out. What? This is the end of it. This, this, this represents the last of our chocolate chips. Wow, we have a big problem. Divorce time. Dad, what happened to our forks? Uh, all our forks are on the dishwasher. So we're treating it like it's a fancy birthday cake. How'd we do? I'd be so sad if this was my fancy birthday cake. Thanks. Well, that was a birthday cake with no icing. Yeah. It's not a birthday cake, I was joking. It's a like banana bread. Yeah? Ew, my fork is dirty. That's chocolate. Like, it's fine. But I think it's the gluten-freeness. Yeah. I don't think we can properly assess this dessert. No. It's not bad, though. No. But, like, I'd be like, just make banana bread, you know? Yeah. I but you. I think it's hard to judge it effectively when it's we made it gluten-free. I should have used, used oat What's flour. That? <laughs> nice. What's happening over here? Hey, those are mine. Couldn't find a fork. You're using that? Is that your fork alternative? <laughs> We're missing a barbarian. It's okay. No throws backs. It ain't back there. Yeah, it is. So I think that's like the common assessment is it's fine, but it's like just make banana bread. But you know what? I do like this. Mm. It's growing it's on like you? It's like a little different than banana bread. Mm. Mm. Banana bread. It's more tasty. Yeah. The idea is nice. If you like banana bread, you'll love this. Oh, I shot myself. You okay? You're bleeding? Cheapers. Andy, call 911. I want that chocolate. Hey. I'm sorry, they're fighting over a knife. We have to go. Real. What? You said it was heavy. How heavy? What is this? It's a splatter dome. Can I? I'm opening it. Well, there's two sizes. They said that this one's better for pots and that one's better for Damn. microwaves. You put your stuff underneath it. And if you're cooking on a stove pot top, you put it like that. I don't know. That's a good thing. And then for microwaves, you can or micro, you can put on microwaves too, and that way your your microwave doesn't get dirty. So there's two sides. Yeah. This one's like good for like the walk. Oh, yeah. The only problem is with cooking videos, it's hard to because you're not gonna be able to see the food. Oh, it's big! Look it's at like it. a, wait, it's my hat. Is there are hats. It's not really. Good. I really have. To. It's not my necklace. Yeah. We'll find a home for these. Thanks, Spider Dome. For keeping our kitchen clean. For breakfast, I'm gonna have this cherry banana smoothie pack. Mm. I think they just make these packs in advance so that you can quickly put them together, but you can just make it on the fly too. Don't worry. I guess I've probably made a smoothie like this before. Cherries, banana, peanut butter, cocoa powder, plant milk. This one sounded like something I would love. And I don't know if I've ever actually done the cherries with the banana and the peanut butter. And you know, cocoa. Nom, nom, nom. Let's blend her up. This is the kind of thing that if you wanted to add protein powder to, if you're having like a post, workout smoothie, you could totally throw that in. And then you could use more milk or water if you wanted it smoother or more liquidy, I guess is the word. I just woke up. Words are not my forte right now. I'm giving you some, Willie, but you're sick.
Do you want a spoonful? Yeah. You can have some on a spoon. Why are you saying that in such a nasty voice? Because you're sick. <laughs> Yeah, who are they gonna get sick from? Annie. You. I got it from Annie though. Annie's patient zero. It's true. It's a bit thin. I think there's chocolate in it. I can't really taste. Oh yeah, you're a useless review today. Yeah, it tastes sweet and chocolatey. It tastes delicious actually, it's really, really good. Um, I've made like a chocolate cherry smoothies before. And I've made chocolate peanut butter smoothies before. I don't think I've ever put chocolate cherry and peanut butter together though. Oh, I didn't think it would taste peanut butter. It's pretty, it's pretty subtle, but it's there. Oh, I, I... She's coming back to life, everyone. Yeah, I taste a little bit. <laughs> she don't mind. She's having a taste stroke. I kind of roll my eyes sometimes at smoothie recipes and cookbooks, but this is one I haven't tried before, and it's delicious. So, eyes unroll. What are your eyes? I don't know. Sometimes I'm a bit of a smoothie snob. I'm like, it's smoothie. Throw some fruit into a blender and yeah, drink it. Specific. Later. It's true. It's true. I, I just admit I'm shaming myself. I shouldn't do that. Anyway, it's delicious. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna have sesame ginger noodles. I said that like a robot. <laughs> Been a long day. I'm tired. Um, so substitutions. I can't, I just couldn't find gluten-free udon noodles, so I'm just using like regular rice noodles. But I think really it's all about the flavor and the sauce here, which looks a little mild. It's mostly ginger and garlic and soy sauce or tamari. That's it, that's the sauce. So it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, it says despite adding more flavor, add some sriracha or hot sauce. I feel like I'm gonna be doing that. I'm also gonna be adding some tofu to the dish, which it recommends. And I think I'm gonna throw in um, some bok choy as well. The recipe does say I can swap out the noodles because I like this recipe a lot for the swaps because you know me, I'm a swapper. So we do here all day long. And if you have a problem with that, this is not the right channel for you. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna add, what else might I add? Maybe I'll add some broccoli too. I don't know, I'm gonna see what's in the fridge. We might get crazy up in here. This looks like it's gonna come together Quick and easy. Uh, it really does though. It's, it's it's essentially a stir fry. And you don't even need to make the sauce on the side. You make the sauce inside the pot. So uh, I wonder if it's gonna be too simple. I might, my kids might complain. I'm, I'm gonna guess Ephraim's gonna complain and say it's too basic. He's getting to be a bit of a snob these days. I spoil that boy with my good cooking. I spoil him, but I love him so much. So I ended up doubling the sauce because it looked a little thin to me. So uh, I often find that with stir fry recipes is they don't give you enough sauce. It's gotta be saucy. So I did that and I, instead of sriracha, I just added some chili garlic sauce I had because I like it, it's got a nice kick to it. <gasps> the boy's here. What's it called? Sesame ginger stir fry. Oh, no way, another stir fry. That's a weird way to say thank you for making dinner, daddy. This is my kind of dinner. Yeah? Noodles, veggies, good sauce. It's, it's a little spicy for me. The sauce is really simple. I added the sesame garlic because it said you could add a little spice element because otherwise it was just tahini. Tahini? Oh, tamari. Mm. That's all it was. And it's, ginger and garlic. Mine's wrong. It's good, but I want sushi rice. I can't do anything with that, but okay. I want sushi rice. Great. Okay, next. No. It's mm. meh. Oh, meh. Sorry. I don't really like it. What do you like? What's, what's meh about it? Let's get into the mind of Ephraim. What would you, how would you fix it? By throwing it in the garbage. That's not fixing it, that's destroying it. How would you fix it? How would you make it better? By making one of your stir fries. Okay, but what do you like about that? Until, is it, what's it missing? I don't know, I just don't I really like the, the spice to it. It's so spicy. Like, it, there should be like a different- It's not spicy! Like, the spice doesn't have the right flavor, it has a weird flavor. Yeah, it's a little bit basic. And the spice has a weird flavor. It's not basic. Well, that's, that could be my fault because I added that in because it said you could add a spice element. Let oh. me tell you what. It's your fault. It offered sriracha. Let me tell you. There's no other flavors than spice. Yeah. That's my fault then. All right, my turn to try my spice machine. It's spicy. It's very basic. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to give it a little extra zhuzh because it's really just the ginger and garlic. It's nice and simple. Here's the thing. It's like if you're new to stir fries in terms of cooking them, this is a great recipe to start with, especially because in the tip section, um, they tell you some other things you could throw in. It's a good starter stir fry. I prefer like a, a, um, like a peanut sauce, send with a bit more fat to it, or like the pad thai sauce that you make. But it's not bad. I like it. It's just a little dry, maybe like the noodles soak everything up so fast. Flavor. Yeah. I, I just, again, it's like I doubled the sauce and it's still not enough. 
It's good. Not great, but good. Can I have sushi I like rice? No, you can't have sushi rice. I don't like sushi rice. Tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make pasta bake. Now I'm making a double batch of this, but I'm using two different kinds of pasta because I'm making some for a friend as well. Uh, and the good thing about this is that you don't bring a lot of it together until the end. So you cook your pasta and then you make this vegetable mix that is onion, garlic, uh, oregano, spinach, and tofu. But they recommend you can add like broccoli and mushrooms and that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna add some more flavor some more vegetables to this, but I'm also gonna add some nooch to this because it recommends you can do that. So what I did for the um, the tofu is just to give it more of a texture, I froze it a couple nights ago and I took it out this morning and thawed it and it's been pressing this afternoon. So I'll just rip that off into chunks and put it all together. The broccoli I'm gonna cook with the pasta, which is how we, we cook broccoli in this house. Uh, so in theory, this will all come together pretty quickly. It's not a complicated meal, which is good because I was working on something for another video that got me a little behind schedule tonight. So we're gonna rip this together nice and quick and hopefully everyone likes it. And if they don't, I kind of don't care because that's just kind of how, how I'm feeling right now. They can make their own dinner. It's Survivor Night here in the Lalonde household. So we're just gonna tell you what we think of this uh, after. So for those who don't like watching us eat, you're welcome. And for those who like to watch us eat, I'm sorry. But that was good. It was like pretty basic pasta, but it was tasty basic pasta. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah? Same. Like I would eat it again. Tasty, basic, tasty. Yeah, I think the only thing that was different that instead of making like a tofu ricotta, it was just crumbling, like well, spicing and crumbling the tofu a little bit. So it's slightly different. I like the That's crumbled good. tofu. Yeah, me too. Yeah? It's better than tofu ricotta. Nice. And I added the broccoli. They said you could add more vegetables. Dad, yeah, next time you yeah. Yeah, next Hi. Time you make lasagna instead of tofu ricotta, can you try to do like, like just the crumbled tofu? Sure. The only thing that was different from this from what we normally do is that, and everyone liked that element. So it was worth trying out. Otherwise, this is the kind of thing where you could literally use any pasta you wanted, change up the sauce, any sauce you wanted, and add any vegetables. But the tofu is the original thing, so. So what did we think about this cookbook overall? I mean, you watched the video. I think it's pretty glaringly obvious that we really dug this cookbook. It's packed with flavors. The recipes are indeed quick and easy. I actually was worried they were too simple and that they would be lacking in flavor and that was not the case. So this is a full-fledged buy. Buy this book. Unless you're on a budget yourself, like the book suggests, and then maybe check it out from the recipe, from the library, the recipe, the recipe library. I have a recipe library on my website. If you do happen to buy this book through Amazon, we'd love it if you use the link down below. It helps us out here on the channel. If you like this video, let us know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to let us know where you're watching from if you'd like one of those shout outs. Subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so yet. And YouTube wants you to watch this video next. It's also on the channel, probably one you haven't seen. We have like something crazy over several hundred videos on the channel now. So there's a chance you haven't seen one of them. And if you've seen all of them, wow, you're my new favorite.